You are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared minus b squared. This is equal to 8. Let's call this equation 1. And a times b is equal to 3. Let's call this equation 2. What is the value of a plus b? Now, if it is the first time you come across videos from this channel, kindly like and subscribe. Now, if you have a different technique of how to solve this algebra problem, don't hesitate to showcase in the comment section. Now, let's prevent the solution here. Now, from equation 1, which is a squared minus b squared, which is equal to 8. Now, we can square both sides here. Which implies that here we have a squared minus b squared raised to power 2. This is equal to 8 to power 2, which is 64. From what we have here, it follows that if you have a minus b squared, this can be expressed as a plus b squared minus 4 times a b. So applying this property, then from what you have here, that is a squared minus b squared squared. This is the same thing as now a squared plus b squared raised to power 2. Then subtract 4a squared b squared and this is equal to 64. Now, here we have a squared plus b squared raised to power 2, subtract 4 a squared times b squared, which you can express as a b squared, this is equal to 64. Now, we have that a times b is what we have in equation 2. Equation 2 here, a times b is equal to 3, so let's substitute this. So here we have a squared plus b squared raised to power 2, subtract 4 times, this is 3 squared, which is equal to 64. So this implies that a squared plus b squared squared, subtract, this is 4 times 3 squared, which is 9, this is equal to 64. So here we have a squared plus b squared raised to power 2, subtract 9 times 4, which is 36. This is equal to 64. So this implies that a squared plus b squared raised to power 2, this is equal to 64 plus 36. So we have that a squared plus b squared raised to power 2, this is equal to 100. The next step here, to solve for a squared plus b squared, essentially here, we need to get the square root on both sides, so that this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 100. So here we eliminate the square root sign. Let's simplify here so that we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to plus or minus square root of 100, which is equal to 10. Now, a squared plus b squared, this is equal to plus or minus 10. So this implies that a squared plus b squared, this is equal to 10. All a squared plus b squared, this is equal to minus 10. So we have two values here. We have a squared plus b squared, this is equal to 10. And a squared plus b squared, this is minus 10. And given that a squared plus b squared, this is the same thing as a plus b squared, subtract 
2 times AB. So from what you have here, which is A plus B squared, subtract 2 times AB, this is equal to 10. Now, we have that A times B, this is what we have in equation 3. In equation, that is in equation 2, we end that A times B, this is equal to 3. So let's substitute this. So we have a plus b squared minus 2 times a b, which is 3. This is equal to 10. So this implies that a plus b raised to the power 2 subtract 6. This is equal to 10. So therefore, we have that a plus b squared this is equal to 10 plus 6. So we have that A plus B squared. This is equal to 16. So to solve for A plus B, let's get the square root on both sides. So we have the square root of A plus B squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. So we have that. Let's eliminate the square root sign so that now we have a plus b. This is equal to plus or minus square root of 16, which is equal to 4. So the first set of solution here that is a plus b is equal to 4, or a plus b is equal to minus 4. This is the first set of solution that we have. Now, let's proceed to the second case. We have that a squared plus b squared. This is equal to minus 10. And given that a squared plus b squared, this is the same thing as a plus b squared minus 2 times a b. This is equal to minus 10. So this implies that AB in this case is equal to 3. So we have A plus B subtract 2 times AB, which is 3. This is equal to minus 10. So A plus B squared minus 6. This is equal to minus 10. So in this case, let's take minus 6 on the right-hand side so that we have a plus b squared. This is equal to minus 10 plus 6. So here we have a plus b raised to power 2. This is equal to minus 10 plus 6, which is minus 4. So to solve for a plus b, we get the square root on both sides. So here we have the square root of a plus b raised to power 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 4. So let's eliminate the square root sign here by simplifying here. So that we have a plus b. This is equal to plus or minus. Now we can express the square root of minus 4 as 4 times minus 1. So that now a plus b is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, this is 2. The square root of minus 1, that is the square root of minus 1. This is the same thing as i. So this is plus or minus 2i. So in this case, we have four solutions. We have four solutions to this algebra problem. That is a plus b. This is equal to plus or minus 4 or plus or minus 2i. So this defines that we have four solutions. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video.
and subscribe kindly like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye